If you're unaware, one of the most uh, fun types of videos to make for my channel are videos that are uh, leaked, right? So every now and then, I get information sent to me through the DMs on Instagram. Uh, you can go and follow me at Sir underscore Hunts underscore Reviews. And also on Twitter at Dragon Daddy or Sir underscore Hunts. Make sure you go follow me there as well. But if you're unaware, like, I usually take that leaked information and I make a video about it. Uh, and then this video is the same as all the other ones. Take this information with a grain of salt because it's more or less a load of horse shit, but it does its purpose and entertains us throughout the wait for House of the Dragon Season 1, or as it's known on this channel, The Long Night. Please, slap a like on this video and make sure you're subscribed. Alright, now this video isn't going to be very long, but the first scene, and these are all from the very first episode, I tried to compile uh, scenes or leaked information that I haven't mentioned too much in my videos before, but this person mentions that the cold open of the first episode of the Game of Thrones prequel series House of the Dragon is dragon shepherds helping a dragon give birth to a clutch of eggs. Now, this would be pretty interesting to see. Like I said, take this with a grain of salt because it's a load of horseshit, but we have never seen anything like this on Game of Thrones. Like, none of Daenerys' dragons, as far as we know, are female because that's how a dragon's sex is determined. If it lays a clutch of eggs, well, then it's female. Well, there are a lot of people, myself included, who think that dragons... Because, well, it makes sense, right? Dragons can change their sex at will and whether they need to be male or female, right? You all let me know what you think down below in the comment section about this. Do you think it's legitimate that the cold open for House of the Dragon Episode 1 is going to be dragon shepherds help a dragon give birth to a clutch of eggs? Uh, just as, like, just sort of adding my commentary here, I think it'll be an interesting duality if you start this series with the birth of dragons and then it obviously ends with the death of dragons. I don't know. There's some legitimacy to that. Now, the next scene that this person mentions is that it involves an older Rhaenyra getting ready for court. The cameras follow her and her handmaids around as they help her dress. Uh, it's clear that in this scene, she is with child and on Dragonstone. They said they can tell by the architecture in the background. Now, another person mentions that there is a scene in which five men are set on fire and it appears to be in a flashback scene, like in the earlier timeline, because Damon has longer hair, and Lainor is portrayed by the younger actor, Theo Nate. Now, I've mentioned this before, uh, and really I'll save my thoughts for the end, but when Damon has longer hair, uh, Matt Smith, I think that that's going to be the younger version of him. They didn't have to actually cast another actor to play him. Otherwise, we would have had it announced officially by HBO. Um, and then in another scene... In the first episode, we will see a young dragon rider. This person doesn't mention who the dragon rider is, but they will learn how to control their dragon. Several scenes throughout the first season involve exposition about how Valyrians of old controlled their dragons. So basically, these Targaryens are very much aware of the knowledge of how to control and tame their dragons, which makes a lot of sense because, for the most part, there's not too much... Uh, that's mentioned in Fire and Blood about a certain dragon rider losing control of their dragons. So that knowledge, and if we do start off with a younger dragon rider, uh, maybe it's possibly one of Rhaenyra's younger sons, right? So they could change canon a little bit for the books, um, or from the books, rather. And for this series, that'll be the way to get that exposition of dialogues of how these Targaryens control their dragons. Because from the, the POV or the accounts that we get in Fire and Blood, none of those people are actually dragon riding Targaryens, right? It's all people who witnessed the events or who read papers and it's all third hand, right? So one of the ways to get uh, more information uh, is by having exposition about a young dragon rider hearing from someone like maybe Damon about what it's like and how the old Valyrians used to control their dragons. Now this last little bit is the most interesting part. It's not actually a leaked scene per se. But this person mentions that the episode runtime for the very first episode of House of the Dragon is 76 minutes. And the CGI is finished completely for the first four episodes. They go on to say that a screen test will happen soon and HBO is planning on leaking the first two episodes via HBO India. Now that is, that all of that is probably nonsense, but here's the thing. The first episode will for sure be longer than an hour and... HBO is famous 
for leaking Game of Thrones episodes early and pretending they didn't mean to do it, right? So everyone can go and torrent the first two episodes of House of the Dragon. If that does happen, obviously you need to buy HBO Max to watch it officially, but if that's legit, well, that'd be, you know, kind of in line with what HBO does. It doesn't do anything but drive up the hype and create more of a following for the show for the next episode so like they'll get a higher premiere or more people watching basically all right now just to run through those again and you all let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section of course this person mentions that the cold open is of dragon shepherds helping a dragon give birth to a clutch of dragon eggs the next scene is an older version of rhaenyra portrayed by emma darcy getting ready for court the camera basically just follows her and her handmaids around her room and it's very clearly it's on dragonstone and that rhaenyra is with child the next scene these aren't necessarily in orders but the next scene the person mentions is that there is a scene in which five men are set on fire and it appears to be in the earlier timeline because Damon, Prince Damon, has longer hair and the actor playing Lainor is portrayed as uh, being played by the younger actor Theo Nate who plays the younger version of Lainor. And then they also mentioned that in the first episode, we will see a young dragon rider learning how to control their dragon. That's kind of a giveaway. We will for sure see that. But the reason behind this is because several scenes uh, exist throughout the entirety of the first season that involve exposition about how Valyrians of old controlled their dragons. And it's basically one character portraying this information to a younger character. And this is how we'll get more information uh to the audience right so and then lastly uh the episode runtime for the first episode is 76 minutes and the cgi is entirely finished for the first four episodes a screen test is happening soon and apparently they're planning on leaking the first two episodes via hbo india all right now uh, i gotta get out of here so you all let me know what you think about any of this information that i really relayed down below uh in the comment section thank you for watching my name is mark and this is big sir hunts Reviews along that. Will you please subscribe to my YouTube? Subscribe to my YouTube. Will you please subscribe to my YouTube? Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you, if you do subscribe, I don't have to make, you know, little videos like this.